Good afternoon. Well, we're back in my office. It's the spare bedroom, actually, but I call it my office. And something a little bit different from me. I have wanted for a long time to do myself a really high quality photo book. I've not had the funds available to do one before now. But about a month ago, I was lucky enough to be given a voucher from Sal Digital, which is a printing company. And they said, there you go, have this voucher. You can spend it on pretty much any photo book on site, but it's the professional line that I've gone for. You could go for the professional line XT, which is just extra thick. But I wanted to go for the standard one. And I've had huge fun designing it. The software that you download from Sal's website is simple enough for me to use. And I am not technical in any way, shape or form. I struggle with all things like this. But even I could use this one. It gives you, you can lay it out manually or you can use their guidelines. You can choose various colours for the outside. You can put text on. You can add clip art. You can put one image per page, you could put five images per page and you have guidelines on the um, software that they give you. I'm not going to go into how you do design it on there. There are videos out in the web that tell you how you use Sal's um, video edi uh, book editing stuff, but that's not what this is about. I've been waiting for it and it has finally arrived. Now. I have not opened this, so you're seeing it for the very first time, as am I. Now, how do we get into it? Oh, oh, it's very well packed. The communication with Sal has been incredible. I had three emails from them regarding the voucher. Let's get rid of that. They sent me a further two follow-up emails saying, look, if you've got any problems using the software, give us a call, go to the online chat. Any way we can help, we will. Once it had been designed, I got a confirmation email that the book was ready. I got a confirmation email that it had been dispatched. And I've had an email following up already to see if I'm happy with it. Now, it's been with me about a week and because of family issues, I've just not had a chance to look at it. So I'm right excited. Now I know a lot of people have had these vouchers. And the ones that I've seen in the main, they have gone for an acrylic cover. So I thought I'd do something different. Oh. Oh wow. Now I've gone for a box presentation. And the box has got a linen cover, which feels beautiful. It's linen and they call it black leather, but it's actually leatherette. Oh. I say this is something I've wanted to do for ages, but I haven't been able to justify the cost because I've had other expenditures. Now you get a little look. Now there is a reason for the name of this book. I think that is incredibly impressive. I'm very, I'm not going to open the rest of it. I'm happy with it like this. I don't want to open any more in case I'm disappointed. But that's beautiful. That really makes it feel upmarket. And you get a little pull to take the book out. And the book is called Duo. Now you will see why it's called Duo shortly. On the back, this is a black leatherette cover. On the back, I've got duo typed again, but in slightly different text or different colour. And then my name at the bottom. Oh, I am. I'm, I think I'm so impressed with the box. That's gorgeous. That really does make it feel like it's something special. Now, as I say, this is the first time I've seen it. Oh, the only problem with seeing something for the first time is not knowing. That feels, it's, it's a lot thicker. 
Now there's a very, sorry, the paper is a lot thicker than I expected it to be. There is a sheen on the paper. I've just gone for plain matte because I like a matte finish, but there's almost a sheen on it. <clears throat> and I've gone for a silver typeface and I've started off with my trip to the Dolomites and it is just, oh, I put a drop shadow around the images just to lift them off the page slightly. I'm hoping you can see these. The paper is really thick and it's a lay flat. So although I don't do many panoramics, I thought I'd put the Italian one in. That is beautiful. That is real quality. The, the paper feels amazing. For it to be matte and yet have a sheen, it's weird. That to me is a contradiction in terms. But no, I like that. That's gorgeous. And the colour reproduction. Everybody goes on about calibrating your screen. Now, this is my old monitor. This monitor is probably the best part of 18 years old. It came with my very, very first PC. I have never calibrated it. I've never had a, I think they call them spider systems on it. And it gives me, in print, exactly what I see on the screen. And there is not a hint of colour cast, nothing at all. Oh, I'm just... <sighs> it wasn't cheap. The voucher they gave me wasn't cheap and I spent another, I think another 40 quid on top. So I didn't just use the voucher. That was a huge help. But I spent money on top as well, getting everything exactly as I wanted it. I'm really impressed with that. The colour reproduction is exactly as I would imagine it. And the images are printed beautifully. Yeah, I like that. That is class. Absolute class. Now, the reason for calling the book Duo will now become apparent. The second half of the book is dedicated to my minimal images. Again, on the front page, I have used a silver typeface, just a small amount of text, and then for the panoramic, or for the, the middle page, I've chosen the Shulston pool image. The colours are amazing. Yeah. Well, I am really, really impressed with that. I'm really hoping you can see this. I say it is a completely lay flat book, which is great because I hate it when you turn a book over and to push the, the, the spine down to see the images properly. And sizing the images to go on the pages was actually quite simple. I'm so, so impressed with that. That really does feel like quality. Yeah. Very, very impressed with that. <sighs> As I say, that's my treat to myself this year. And just having that box, which is lined in the black leatherette, just adds to the overall feel of it. Now I was waiting to have a look at this before I decided whether or not I would offer this for sale because I can obviously reprint more of them. That, oh I am so so impressed. It's been murder, I've had a week of knowing this has been at home and not being able to get to it because I said the first time I opened it I would show you guys as well. That's lovely. Yeah, I am 125, 150, 200 percent impressed with that.
so yes i am going to offer this for sale but i think or i hope you'll agree that that is absolute class and i'm really pleased that instead of going for um an acrylic book cover which everyone else seems to have done i went for the box because i think the box just adds a bit of class really impressed with that yeah that's a proper keepsake that one a proper keepsake So thank you very much, Sal Digital. Very impressed. Would I recommend Sal to other photographers? Definitely. Anybody who's wanting to get stuff printed at the high end of the market? Absolutely. Everything is so easy on the software that you download. Even downloading the software is easy. You literally just click a button and it's there. And it has all the options, whether you want to do photo books or prints or wall art. And, and laying the book out is very logical, a logical process to follow. Uploading the images is easy. There's just nothing difficult about it. Oh, I am so, so impressed with that. Now, you could put that on a coffee table and it would attract interest immediately. Even little things like the tag. It's a full length tag. But it allows you to pull the book out so easily rather than scrabbling for it or having a finger hole to, to flip it up. Yeah. So yes, the quality of the paper, I don't know if you, you'll not be able to see or you'll not be able to tell from here, but that paper is really thick and it feels gorgeous. It's got a, a texture to it. But it, it's not textured. I know that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. As I say, the colour reproduction, even being able to add drop shadows. I'm never keen on images that are just plonked on a page. I like to have a bit of a drop shadow. As I say, the colour reproduction, even with my lousy eyes, is exactly what I saw on the computer. And that's why I like my little monitor. So, Soul Digital, yes, you have done me proud. I am really, I'm over the moon with that. That is absolutely gorgeous. There's a richness to the colours. There's a depth to the blacks. The blacks are black, the whites are white. Everything is exactly as it should be. Oh, that's amazing. That's a beautiful keepsake. Absolutely beautiful. And then I get on to my minimal images. Yeah, so yes, anybody who's thinking of designing uh, a photo book for whatever purpose, Sol Digital, I would highly recommend. That is... That was so worth waiting for. I've been so excited waiting for that to come through. The, the linen cover feels beautiful. And to me, that's a lot more stylish and a lot more unique and has a much more special feeling. The fact you're presenting a book within a presentation box. That's just glorious. Thank you very much, Sal. Thanks for watching. Bye.